Hello everyone. In this video, I, a Japanese national, will introduce you to the world famous and iconic site of Japan, the Kinkakuji Temple. Through this video, I will provide you with information that will help you plan your trip so that you can actually visit the Kinkakuji Temple and experience its breathtaking beauty and emotion. Don't miss the end of this video, as it is full of information that will really make you want to go there. Kinkakuji Temple, which we will introduce here, is located in the northern part of Kyoto, the ancient capital of Japan, specifically in the northern part of Kyoto City, and is a very popular and deeply historical tourist attraction in Japan. Kinkakuji, whose official name is Rokuanji, is a Japanese Zen temple that takes its name from its three-story tower covered in gold leaf. The history of Kinkakuji dates back to the 14th century. It was first built by a Japanese shogun named Ashikaga Yoshimitsu as his villa. After his death, in accordance with his wishes, the villa was converted into a Zen Buddhist temple. Each floor of the pagoda represents a different architectural style. The first floor is in the style of a Heian period palace, the second floor is in the samurai style, and the top floor is in the style of a Zen temple. Kinkakuji is one of Japan's most popular tourist destinations and was inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1994. Why not cross the border, cross the oceans, and visit Kyoto, a place where the spirit of old Japan lives on? First, your adventure begins as you travel from the international airport to Kyoto. Once you arrive at Kyoto Station and pass through its gates, a path leading to Kinkakuji Temple awaits you. After a 40-minute bus ride, you will get off at a bus stop called Kinkakuji Michi, where you will see the brightly shining, gold-leaf-covered Kinkakuji Temple. For a moment, you will feel as if you have stepped into another world. As the name suggests, Kinkakuji Temple is covered in gold leaf, and the beauty of the reflection of its brilliance on the surface of the water is breathtaking. The beauty of the Golden Pavilion as you see it with your own eyes will evoke an incredible sensation, as if you are dreaming. And its beauty changes with the seasons, bringing you new surprises every time you visit. The first thing you will enjoy when you visit is the view of the Golden Pavilion, covered in gold leaf. Next, take a stroll through the gardens. Especially in late November and early December, when the autumn leaves are in full bloom, the garden becomes even richer in flavor and you can experience the four seasons. After that, you can experience the history and culture of Kinkakuji at the exhibition space called, Sheridan. Then, to commemorate your visit to Kinkakuji, taste the delicious tea and Japanese sweets unique to Kyoto. You will feel as if you are a part of Japan. Furthermore, you can also enjoy Kyoto's unique gourmet cuisine in the area around Kinkakuji Temple. Kyoto is truly a gourmand's paradise, offering a variety of cuisines that take advantage of fresh local ingredients. These dishes offer the perfect opportunity to experience the depth and elegance of Kyoto's culture in your own mouth. To begin, try the finest of Japanese cuisine, Keizeki Kyoto Cuisine. This is a series of beautifully refined small dishes, using the finest seasonal ingredients. The delicacy and beauty of these dishes is truly a work of art, and the flavors are equally impressive. Next, obanzai is Kyoto's home-style cuisine, simple and healthy dishes that make the most of local ingredients. These dishes are seasonal, but each dish offers a glimpse into the life and culture of the people of Kyoto. Kyoto is also known for its tofu. Yudafu is especially worth trying. Tofu is boiled softly in warm water, and its smoothness and deep flavor is one of the specialties of Kyoto's rich water quality. And for those with a sweet tooth, Kyoto's matcha sweets are a must. Matcha ice cream, matcha parfait, matcha wagashi, and other sweets made with this unique green tea will charm you with their richness and deep aroma. And since Kyoto is not far from the sea, you can enjoy sushi made with fresh seafood. Sushi in Japan can be described as a kind of art. It is truly impressive to watch a skilled artisan carefully select fresh seafood and place it on a bed of vinegared rice just an inch from the surface. The moment its smooth texture and deep oceanic flavor spread in your mouth, you will be amazed at how delicious it is. What makes a visit to Kinkakuji even more fascinating is the nearby tourist attractions. Ryoanji Temple and Kitano Tenmangu Shrine, 
which can be visited within 30 minutes of Kinkakuji, offer visitors a chance to experience Japanese culture and natural beauty all at once. Ryoanji Temple is especially famous for its garden, a typical Japanese dry landscape garden. Consisting of white sand and 15 stones, the garden is designed in such a way that no matter where you look, you cannot see all the stones at once. This garden stimulates your imagination and encourages deep contemplation that comes from its serenity and beauty. In addition, Kiyomizu Dera Temple and Fushimi Inari Teisha Shrine are two more tourist destinations that can be reached within an hour's travel time. Kiyomizu Dera Temple offers a spectacular view of the entire city of Kyoto from its impressive wooden stage. There is a saying here about jumping off the Kiyomizu stage, which represents the great decision to take a step forward. The temple grounds of Kiyomizu Dera are also beautiful in every season, especially the cherry blossoms in spring and the autumn leaves in fall. Fushimi Inari Teisha is the headquarters of the many Inari shrines throughout Japan, and is dedicated to the deity Inari, who is known as the god of prosperity and good harvest. One of the most famous features of Fushimi Inari Teisha is the Senban Torii, or Thousand Torii Gates. This refers to the bright vermilion torii gates that line the approach up the mountain on the shrine grounds. Passing through the Senban torii gates and climbing the mountain, visitors are treated to a spectacular view of Kyoto City. Visitors can enjoy the seasonal scenery as they walk along the path, which is especially beautiful during the cherry blossom season in spring and the autumn foliage season in fall. Furthermore, as part of your trip, you should not forget to choose your accommodations. Kyoto offers a wide variety of accommodations, each of which offers its own unique blend of Japanese culture and elegance. To deepen and enrich your stay in Kyoto, we recommend the following several accommodations. First of all, there is the Ryokan. These are traditional Japanese accommodations where you can enjoy tatami mat rooms, futon bedding, and delicious Japanese cuisine. Tawaraya Ryokan and Hiragiya Ryokan are two of the most highly regarded, long-established ryokans, where you can enjoy first-class hospitality and excellent food. Next, we have, modern hotels. While offering modern comforts and excellent service, many incorporate Japanese culture and design. The Ritz-Carlton Kyoto and Hyatt Regency Kyoto are examples of such luxury hotels. And we also recommend the, Machia Townhouse Stay. These are traditional Kyoto Machia houses that have been renovated and are generally rented out as a single house, allowing you to relax and feel as if you were in your own home. Iori Machia Stay and Gojo Paradiso Homes are examples of such accommodations. Each of these accommodations offers a different Japanese experience. We encourage you to choose the one that best suits your travel goals and preferences. You will find that you will be able to experience the charms of Japan even more deeply. Above all, the best thing about traveling to Japan is the warm hospitality and sincerity of the Japanese people. No matter where you visit, there is always someone willing to help you when you are in trouble. Even if there is a language barrier, the way people desperately try to communicate with each other using gestures and pictures symbolizes the kindness of the Japanese people. In fact, many dropped wallets in Japan are returned to their owners. This is a sign of the kind and sincere Japanese national character. Such a sense of security will make your trip even more enjoyable and safe. What do you think? We are really looking forward to that moment when your journey begins. In this channel, we introduce Japanese tourist attractions in this way. We will tell you about the attractions of various places and provide you with information that will help you enjoy your trip to Japan even more. We hope you find the information about Kinkakuji Temple useful for your travel plans. If you find this video useful, please, like, it, dot. And if you find it useful, please, like, it. And please subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to provide you with many more attractions. We will also be adding links in the overview section to introduce more attractions in the area as we go along, so please check back. We hope your trip will be a great one. See you soon.